Hey guys, it's Meg again. Um, so I wanted to do another project and I just woke up one morning and thought of it. So I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you and then I'm going to explain how to do it. Um, and to be quite honest with you, I'm actually in the process of it. I don't want to do two, so I'm just going to show you how I'm doing mine. Um, so let's get started. So um, <clears throat> I'm doing like canvas like, it's like wall art, but I'm using a canvas and I'm using sand. And I was bored, not gonna lie, at work and I decided to take some receipt paper and draw up an idea of what I could do for a design on my canvas. And so this is what the design looks like. I just kind of came up with it randomly and I think it looks pretty cool. It looks even cooler on the canvas than I thought it would. Um, and then I just want to talk to you about the canvas real fast. I am just so happy I got a deal on this canvas. It came in a two pack. It was just two of them. And they're 12 by 12 canvas and I got it for three dollars. Pretty About three dollars. And I am just so happy about that. So um, let's roll into the video. So I'm going to go through the materials. Um, the first thing you're going to need is just a plain white canvas um, and then you're going to need a ruler. I have this nice fancy silver ruler and then um, a sharpie and a pencil, you know, generic supplies there. And then I'm going to use some Mod Podge, I'll explain why after, um, just a little foam brush to apply it, some sand, I got black but you can get whatever color sand you want from pretty much all craft stores, I think. Um, and then you're going to need some white paint. Yeah. So uh, what I did first was I took my design and I just kind of looked at it and drew it onto some canvas. Um, and this is what it looks like right now. And the next thing I'm going to do is cover the whole thing in white. And I know that sounds like kind of productive because I drew it all on there with Sharpie already, but the thing is I don't want the sharpie to show through as much as I want the sand to show, you know what I mean? So I'm going to paint over it with the white to kind of mute the black, but still have it there as like a guideline. So I'm going to go ahead and just paint on my white and then I'll get back to you. So this is what it looks like um, with a really thin layer of white paint over it. It does mute the um, the black sharpie you drew onto the canvas so that you can still see it so it's still guidelines. But just remember that um, all the white parts, let's make it focus this, um, that's, that's going to show through in your final project so if you don't like it I mean go through and make sure that everything looks perfect in all the white parts of it. The black parts you're going to use as a guideline for where you're going to put your sand. So I just wanted to show you how I applied the glue. Um, it was kind of difficult to get the technique down, but uh, the first thing I suggest is that you get a paintbrush that you don't care about really because the glue is going to dry and the bristles are all going to be stuck together. Um, and what I did was I just picked up a glob of it, laid it down, and just kind of evened it out a little bit. And I went... I did as much as I could do before I thought that it would dry and then I sprinkled on the sand and kept on going and then once I finished that row or that section I tapped off the sand and just continued doing that. So um, <clears throat> now I have finished with the sand and I did white paint around it um, after. If you're going to do the white paint to make it, you know, pop better, I suggest doing that before you do the sand. Um, that was really, really difficult. <laughs> um, but the next step is to take your Mod Podge, and I'm going to actually use my Mod Podge as a sealant so that none of my sand falls off, um, and that'll be, that'll be it. And I'm just going to use this foam brush I got for like 49 cents. Um, and, and here we go. 
So this is the last step in the project and I decided to get some Mod Podge from Michaels and I'm using it as a sealant and sand as you know is very messy and I didn't want it to um, get everywhere after I was done with the project. So I just took my sponge brush, um, poured some glue on the section I was working on and just used my sponge brush, brush to like just dab it on and um, protect all the sand. And then you just go ahead and do that around um, the whole thing and I think it takes about 10 minutes to dry and it'll dry clear and that, that'll be it. So this is the final product and I think it came out absolutely beautiful. Um, it was very tricky at some parts. I should have painted the white in between here before I did the sand and then I realized that when I did the sand you need to have a very um, consistent layer of glue so that it comes out all even. I've never done this project before ever in my life and so it was very, it was a very good learning curve for me and I think it came out wonderful. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, comment below what you'd like me to do, like what you'd like to see me do, and um, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you again for watching.